Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and explore our project a little bit because we haven't really seen what's going on here. So I'm just gonna minimize the terminal for you and I'm gonna close these files. Now what we see on our left, that is the file structure, is pretty interesting. Now the reason it is laid down in the following sense is because Next.js requires a specific file structure, which is not a lot of technologies, which is not what a lot of technologies do outside there. And it, it's sort of, you know, um, some people like it, some people don't like it, but this is what it is, at least for now with Next.js. So what's going on? Well, first things first, you see this public folder, right? Whatever you put it in the public folder is going to be directly accessible on your root domain. In our case, you can see we have two files, that is favicon and versal. So if I go ahead, let me just go ahead and bring this right here. If I go ahead and uh, just go to versal.svg in my URL, you can see right here, I get the versal because this file was put right here, right? Similarly for favicon, if I go to that URL, you're gonna see we get our favicon right here, if you could just see it in the dark. If I create a file, let's say robots.txt, and if I say hello robots, you know, stuff like that, save that file, go to robots.txt, what you're gonna see is we get the same file. So it's basically a directory which Next.js uses internally to serve off files as it is. Now, if you create an index.js or anything, it would not be processed by Next.js. It would not be executed as a node command by Next.js. It would be served as it is, right? So you have to be careful about this. Whatever you put inside the public directory is directly accessible by anyone, right? As, as the raw source thing. And uh, a good thing is it does not matter where your contents is as long as it is in public directory. So you can have a bunch of folders, for example, A, B, then you can have C.txt and you can say hello there. And how it would be accessible is pretty much A, B, C.txt, just like that, right? So it's just going to follow the whole direct directory path and reach out to that particular file, just like it would work on a file system. So it's pretty neat because, you know, now you have a one-on-one -on -one pairing on how you are storing your files and how they are served, right? Most of the frameworks like Express provide that as well with the static, express.static middleware, but uh, Next.js provides that out of the box without you writing any code or any configuration. So this is about the public folder in Next.js. There's another interesting folder you can see pages, which is basically the heart of our application, which is basically our source code would live, right? So we're gonna discuss a lot more about pages um, as we go on, because this is like the central part of the routing system as well. But for the most part, the styles folder um, is not really required. So you can go ahead and move the styles folder inside public as well. I mean, th that would just make your styles accessible through a URL instead of like bundling, but uh, it won't really matter, right? Because your CSS is visible anyway. So you can, or you, if you can, if you want, you can keep the styles in a separate folder or you can move them inside the pages folder itself, right? So if you do that, what's going to happen is you can delete this styles folder. So to just get rid of a new folder. And right here, instead of importing it like this, now because you have deleted it, just import it like this, right? And inside index.tsx as well, just import the home.css style directly. So if you do that, and if you go ahead and go back on the page, you're gonna see it pretty much looks just like before, right? And yep, that's basically it for the whole structure. So now you more or less have only two folders, pages and public, which are a must to have in a similar way. Well, actually there's one way to have pages as well. So you can create an SRC folder and then throw in pages inside that. That would also work just like it is working right now, but I'm not really getting into that. So I'm just gonna remove my SRC folder for now. But the idea is 
you must have two folders the first one is public for static assets and the pages folder for your source code which is responsible for running the node code and rendering your react code on the page as well <clears throat> we're going to discuss what this api is later on it is something special not really um, related to the rendering part but yeah it is special so that would be all for this video i hope you liked it i'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next one let's get there